Dear students, in the previous class we can discuss about uh, semiconductors and then electromagnetic wave conceptually. Yes, in the electromagnetic wave conceptually, we have six questions about uh, the KCD or the electromagnetic wave conceptually. So, only you can focus on that, uh, what are the concepts you want to study in that electromagnetic wave. So, displacement current and then stress pump out. Uh, so this placement current is only but then changing the electric flux the current will be over time this is the displacement current and then uh, electromagnetic waves electromagnetic electric field and magnetic field both are perpendicular to each other so more properties of an electromagnetic waves and then electromagnetic radiations are also involved for that one and then electromagnetic radiations so in an all other ways the decreasing wavelength so the decreasing wavelength of course having a ratio waves so what Radio waves. So next to micro waves, micro waves. So next to infrared rays, so visible, visible rays. So next to X rays. Uh, so first after uh, UV rays, UV rays. Next to X rays, and then gamma rays. These are the uh, seven electromagnetic radiations on the basis of it uh, decrease in order. The more we will lesser, 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 lesser. So you know that the frequency and the wavelength are inversely proportional to each other. Which part, which one uh, elements are again uh, lesser wavelength, the more frequency, which is an uh, higher wavelength, then uh, less frequency. So if that is a visible light, having a range will be there. So, so all our wave ranges is there. So that is an order wave. So that of an order, the increasing order of wave range that will be related to the one. Then uh, increasing order of the frequency. So in one of the concepts of our electromagnetic waves, I mean uses are the number of the wave range. So that means like questions are the number of study mark of the six questions will be So intensity will be given down to the magnetic field equations will be given down to so the questions are the number of the number of electromagnetic waves. Okay, so what are the questions to solve that one? Yes, the uh, questions are not totally one question. I'm going to give you a very one question on the electromagnetic waves. I'm going to give you the next one. We can go for how we can solve the model in the previous class. So next, we can go for the alternating current. Alternating current. So first, I can explain the previous class as far as alternating current. Already, you are studying in an alternating current in the theoretical parts. Every part of the RNA study mark of the So it's a very important uh, chapter. So it's very easy to arise in the questions. So, but you can understand the question first initially. So after that, you can solve the easy. So first concept of an alternating current, alternating means changing with respect to time. That is nothing but an alternating current. So one of the equations could go time E naught, E is equals to E naught to sine of the light. So EMF she broke that in that six chapter electromagnetic directionally. So AC generator to generate from the EMF. So then E naught is nothing but that E naught is nothing but that. Yes, E naught is nothing but that. Yes, E. This is a peak value. Peak value. This is a E naught is a peak value. Value to obtain. Similar, B is equal to B naught in sine of magnetic, then I is equal to sine naught to sine of magnetic to obtain. So after that, so the relation for the mean value and the peak value. The relation for mean value and the peak value. Then the A omega B is B naught is equal to M A B omega M A B. So this is having the term EAB omega S perfect. The peak EMF then operate out. Similar, having an relation having a mean value or an average value and a peak value. So then I mean I average equals to 2 pi pi into pi naught. I not is only put a peak current. I not is only put a peak current. So then mean value and then peak value. Or average value and then peak value. Relations. 
similar in terms of an uh, inert material to be average or e v is equal to 2 by 5 in the inert similar in terms of an v average and then e v is equal to 2 by 5 in the inert this is an equation so that relation in the middle of the question will arise one out so similar in the next uh, rms value and then peak value comes as so we will discuss one out For in relation for R M S value and P value, S V I R M S is equal to I R M S is equal to I R divided by P R zero point seven nine seven into I R equation zero point seven nine seven into I R. So then V R M S is equal to V I R divided by root two S V is equal to zero point seven nine seven into V I R. Similar V R M S is equal to V I R divided by root two This is zero point seven nine seven into e nine. These are some of the equations. As far as one, you can write the equations. So that we can discuss for the AC voltage applied to the resistors. So the AC voltage to apply to the resistor. How much voltage we apply to the resistor in resistor? Yes, in resistor. V is equal to e naught into sine omega t. Voltage we can apply to the resistors. How much current will go through time? I is equal to I naught into sine omega t current will go through. The law proof made me. Already you can prove the theoretical parts, but in theoretical parts, it is not necessary to prove. Only the equation form, the concept form is very important. So then, I naught is not equal to V naught divided by R. I naught is equal to V naught divided by R. In the resistors, so in the AC voltage to apply the resistors. So then, how much voltage will be given? V is equal to V naught into sine omega t is equal. So then, uh, how much current will flow time? I is equal to sine naught into sine omega t current will then flow time. As in the phase, phase means uh, angle between the current and the voltage. The zero phase, phase is a zero. The phase is a zero. Means the voltage and current are the same phase only. Flow time and power. Power dissipation. So power, power dissipation in the resistor. Power is equal to Then P is equal to then P is equal to maximum power to obtain by I R M S I R M S into V R M S power to obtain the maximum power to obtain the power power dissipation I R M S into V R M S power to be dissipated. In other systems, the maximum power which can be dissipated. So that much of voltage will be supplied, that much of current will be obtained. That maximum current is supposed to be not divided by R. The phase will be zero. The power factor, power dissipation, is equal to P is equal to I R minus R. We are R R will be proved in the theoretical class, but it is not necessary to get the objective basis. So next to to study from next one. In the in the inductor, in inductor. Inductor ना लिया था। Inductor same voltage जो भी supply V is equal to V naught sine omega t voltage जो भी supply current I is equal to I naught into sine omega t minus pi by two I is equal to I naught into sine omega t minus pi by two. So then I naught is only one to one. I naught is equal to V naught divided by x L. When x L is only one to one, inductive reactance. So things. Excel is on the ground. Omega L. Excel is on the ground. Inductive reactor. The opposition offered in an inductor. Inductor means it is an opposition. No, no, no. Reactor. Inductive reactor is on the ground. It is an opposition offered in an inductor. So then the Excel is equal to omega L. You can substitute that for answer. So in that one phase one phase 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 yes the phase. You know you know phase phase are angles. You can get it done. So then the phase. V V leaves the current by pi by V voltage leaves the current by pi voltage leaves the current by pi by the phase. So directly to asking the question from that uh, CD objects. So the phase is only given in an inductor. Voltage leaves leaves the current by pi by. So then power dissipation in an inductor power is equal to zero. Then 
power distribution in the prism zero. In the number that one, these are all the parts of the prism. Not two, but two already in the two in a theoretical parts. So next one, in a capacitor, in a capacitor. Yes. In a capacitor. So in the capacitor, same voltage will be supplied. V is equal to V naught into sine of omega T. Voltage will be supplied. You know the answer for the capacitor. And then uh, how much current will be obtained? I is equal to I naught into sine of omega T plus pi by two. You can be obtained from sine of omega T plus pi by two. Zero also. Zero for what is it? So then if I naught is nothing but a V naught divided by X sub C. Where x suffix c is nothing but an x suffix c is nothing but capacitive reactance. What do you mean by capacitive reactance? A position offered in a capacitor is nothing but capacitive reactance. If x y naught is equal to v naught divided by x c, where x suffix c is equal to x suffix c is equal to one by omega c. x suffix c is equal to one by omega c. Yes, that's written as one by two by f c also. Two pi f c nu plus ten and x c is equal to two pi f l of two pi f l. So then uh, frequency linear frequency and then analog frequency omega c is analog frequency. So this is another one capacitive reactance. So what is the phase in the capacitor? The phase in the capacitor phase B lags behind the lags lags the current B. Lacks the current. Lacks the current. Lacks the current. Yes. Why? V lacks the current. Why? Why by two? Why by two only? Lacks the current. V lacks the current by pi by two. This is the phase. Yes. That one power is also zero. Power distribution is equal to zero. This is the current capacitor. So resistance. Inductors and then capacitor. Yes, next we can go for the third. all the three elements are connected in a single uh, series NCR circuit. Yes, in a series NCR circuit. Yes, in a series NCR circuit. If V is equal to V naught into sine omega t, voltage will be supplied. If the current I naught is equal to V naught divided by Z. Z is nothing but an impedance of the circuit. Hence, the equation is nothing but an V naught divided by root of root of root of this. So this is equal to uh, R square plus X C minus X L. T minus seven root square. This is an impedance. That is an impedance. Since uh, Z is equal to root of R square plus X C minus X L root square. If I am X C is greater than X L, J C C is greater than X L. You know that one capacitive reactance. X C is not equal to one by omega C. If X L is not equal to inductive reactance, two by X L. So this is equal to root of R square plus C minus X L whole square. So impedance. Current we now divide by each other. Clear? So this is how we put the series LCR circuit. Yes, uh, it can be proved also in phase diagram. Phase diagram is our most important topic. We are using all the phases. So in that one phase angle, tan phi is equal to tan phi is equal to X C minus X L divided by R. R pi is equal to tan inverse of x c minus x c minus x l divided by R. Phase pi is equal to tan inverse of x c minus x l is equal to R. So in that one, what are the resonance conditions? What are resonance conditions? You can see that one. In an impedance, will be the maximum. Current will be the minimum. If an impedance will be the maximum, current will be the minimum. At that one, the reason x c is equal to x c at x l, so that's why it is equal to zero. Then v, the current will be the at resonance condition. Yes, at resonance, at resonance condition. 
That condition is nothing but x i is equal to x c r x c is equal to x r x r is equal to r. At that condition, if a current will be the maximum in the series and series. At that condition, if current will be the maximum in the series and series. So okay. So then in that one. Power uh, s if an x l is equal to x c at the resonance condition. The resonance condition, the very important resonance condition. If current is maximum, current will be the maximum of that. So all of the resistance z is equal to r. The condition of the bar channel capture the at resonance of the equal to the bar. We are going to get x l is equal to x c r. We are going to get the other one easier. So we are going to get the other one easier. ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಈಸಿ ಆಗಿ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋದು ಸೊ ಸಾಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಏನು ಕೇಳ್ತೀರೋ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕೂಡ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಆಗೋದು ಬೇರೆ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಫೇಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಆಗುತ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಕೂಡ ನಿಮಗೆ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಅವರು ನೀವು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೀರಾ ಸೊ ರಿಸೋನೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ಪವರ್ ಡಿಸಿಪೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪವರ್ ಡಿಸಿಪೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ quality factor some more equations to obtain the quality factors q is equal to quality factor q is equal to s 1 by 1 by quality factor q uh, at the resonance conditions were there yeah, see after the force of quality factor so at the resonance conditions some more equations to obtain that one at the resonance conditions if omega not l is equal to 1 by omega not c r So then, omega naught square is equal to one by root L C. Angular frequency. The linear frequency of the command is F naught R. Then omega naught square is equal to L C. Then omega naught is equal to one by root L C R. Similar, if the F naught is equal to one by two pi into root L C R. Resonance frequency. Resonance frequency. At the particular frequency, the current will be the maximum. That frequency is the number of resonance frequency. You can call it as the resonance frequency. So after that, quality factor, quality factor is Q. Q factor Q is equal to quality factor is equal to one by R into root L by C. The one of the formula and another formula having an omega naught L divided by R. So then another one is under one by omega naught c r. These are all the quality factor equations. So you have to study that one quality factor equations. So then next we can go for that power dissipations in that uh, series of circuits. So power dissipation P equals to V R M S into I R M S into cos by. Cos by is also power factor. Cos by tan by is also power factor. That will be an expression in terms of the phase diagram. So the reason power distribution is called cos by is also cos by is also called power factor. That is a true power. This is an apparent apparent power. Okay. Then P divided by V R M S into I R M S. This is a quality factor also. Then uh, see observe that one in a uh, resistance. In a resistance, if pi phase angle is zero, if a resistance or phase angle will be zero, cos zero angle will be one. The power distribution will be the maximum. If a phase angle from that uh, inductor, even pi by two, cos pi by two value will be zero. So then power dissipation is also zero. If a in a capacitor, if a phase angle is given pi by two, if a uh, cos pi by two value is also zero, the power dissipation is also zero. In series of cells, if you are in this one, means all all parameters, inductors, capacitors, and resistors, all are connected in a series to the single source. At that reason, if power factor P is equal to V R M S into I R M S into cos by. So, moon pure is compared with the moon. The resistance compared with the moon. Inductor compared with the moon. Again, the pass through pure compared with the moon. This is our number of power factor distribution. And then next, you know, the resistance will be something like pure lambda. So, after that, the transformer will be the resistance model. Transformer is the transformer. Last answer. Transformer. So in the transformer, in given form, uh, what is the transformer? It can be dissolved the values. The values will then dissolve the form. Then dissolve the values. Can some sort of idea? So how much to changing the values? There are two types of transformer. There is step down transformer, step down transformer. They are open and closed. In that one, the N S divided by N P. 
is equal to vs divided by vp is equal to ip divided by ns this is a condition for the transformer ns divided by ns ns means the number of turns in secondary coil the number of turns in primary coil voltage developed on the secondary coil the voltage developed on the primary coil and the current in the primary coil and the current in the secondary coil these are the transformer conditions this is a ns divided by np then vs divided by vp is equal to ip divided by ns in a step of transformer the step of transformer the secondary coil number of turns ns is greater than np vs is greater than vp but the is is greater than ip so in the secondary coil over here yeah? the secondary coil over here ip is greater than is okay that means uh, ip is greater than is it means is uh, sec secondary in the they out zero so transfer over here yeah? secondary coil over here output over in that if i in that one vns secondary coil over here ns is greater than np vs is greater than vp then is is less than ip in the step of transformer step down transformer over here yeah? In the step of transformer, the secondary coil number of turns is greater than number of power turns in the secondary coil. Means NP is greater than NS side. Less than NS is less than NP, VS is less than VP. Then IS IP is greater than IS. IP is greater than IS. Then step of down transformer. Two types of transformer are there. Step of transformer are there. Step down. Another concept are important efficiency in that transformer. Now transform the model again. Efficiency concept we will study one more. Efficiency. What is the efficiency of a transform? So the now efficiency concept is the area of the under load there. So efficiency is the matter output power to the input power. So in a market having a so many electronic equipments are there. So in that electronic equipments, hundred percent efficiency cannot be taken because of some more loss of energy in that one. The loss of energy, you know, the transfer of some loss of energy is there. Flux leakage is there. The resistance in the wire and hysteresis losses, and then uh, it decays. These are all the some more the losses of the transfer. You know? These are all concept to, to study in an alternating time. So that time we can make plans for what the chapter. Our chapter is going to be very important. So the media first initiating equation on the sixth chapter. ಇಂಟು ವಿ ನಾಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೋ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪೀಕ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಮೋಟೇಶನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಐ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ರೂಟ್ 1/1 ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಂದ 0.7 ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟಿಕ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ನಾವು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಸೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಿ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ರೂಟ್ 0.7 ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಂದ ಪೀಕ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಿ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ರೂಟ್ 0.7 ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಂದ ಪೀಕ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ So, in a resistance concept, we know that if that much of resistance, the V is equal to V naught in the circuit, it can be connected from that one AC voltage of that resistor. In that AC voltage, AC means change in respect to the time. So then I is equal to I naught in the circuit over here. So that current will go. But already you can through this there are different parts. Here the part number is just a little bit more part. So then I naught is equal to V naught divided by R. I naught is equal to V naught divided by R. So the phase, the phase of our representation part. The phase is nothing but the angle between the voltage and the current in the circuit. So the angle between the voltage and the current. In that one, the phase angle of the resistor will be same. The power dissipation is already proved that the power dissipation is now proved for our the maximum power will be dissipated in that resistor. The resistor will maximum power dissipation and the power there. The power P is equal to I R M S into V R M S. So similar in an inductor concept. So in an inductor, same voltage will be supplied. V is equal to V naught plus I M S. So then, how much current will be obtained in that one in an inductor? So then I is equal to I naught plus I M S minus I by two current. So 
then the dynamic is given that V naught divided by S. S is given that inductive reactants. So what do you mean by inductive reactants? A position half a degree and inductive. So they are inductive reactants. How much? This is the omega L. The omega L is given two pi. So the phase between the uh, voltage and the current in that the inductor voltage leads the current by voltage leads the current by keep it simple. Current lacks the voltage by pi by two. Current lacks the voltage by pi by two. Current in the current is the inductor one. So then the power dissipation in an inductor is zero. Power dissipation in an inductor is also zero. So in capacitor we work on is that connection from V is equal to V naught minus I omega T. So that much of voltage will be supplied to the capacitor. Capacitor if I is equal to I naught minus I omega T plus pi by two. Y is equal to I naught minus I omega T plus pi by two. Current will go. You know that what I naught is equal to V naught divided by X. Where X is is that the capacitive reactor is opposition offered in the capacitor. Opposition offered in the capacitor is known as capacitive reactor. So X is equal to one by two pi of C. So what is the phase from the capacitor? Voltage lacks the current by pi. Voltage lacks the current. Lacks means we have the current. Current is there. Voltage is there. By pi by two, I think it is there. Or you will do. Current leads the voltage by pi by two. Now, how will it be computed? So then, power dissipation is that capacitor will be a zero one. Similar in series, there is a circuit. In series, there is a circuit. Now, if all the three elements are there, one day circuit is connected to another one. In series, there is a circuit. V is equal to V naught minus I omega T. Power is given to the wind turbine, which is current. I naught P value is equal to V naught divided by Z. Z is the given impedance. The position of half a degree series is also given as the impedance. And also the acceleration, the unit is also move. Xc is the result of unit to the move. Impedance length, that is also unit to the move. So if I have root of R square plus X L minus X C whole square, if the X L is greater than X C. There are some more conditions for it also. If an XL is equal to zero, I get it. XL is zero, I get it. R C is equal to that. Z is equal to root of R square plus X C square. I get it. An object of an XL, vector object. I get it. In the questions, we have to take care of that. The impedance is equal to root of R square plus X C square. If the capacitor is equal to object, I get it. The capacitor is Z is equal to root of R square plus X C square. I get it. R square plus X L square. Then you know, absence of a capacitor. Now we will see X C minus X L will not work over there. X L minus X C will not work over there. If X L minus X C will work there, X L is greater than X C. So in the in the phase I will take note that that phase is equal to X C minus X L divided by R. So sometimes you know we get this maximum we get this minimum. So you can write from X C minus X L minus X C will not work over there. Tell me about that. That X L minus X C divided by R will work over there. Phase angle to work that. But the resonance condition will be there. If I have it, but X C is equal to X L. At resonance condition, the X C this is a condition. At resonance condition, resonance means we can have a maximum current will be obtained in that circuit. That is a resonance. So in that one, if X L is equal to X C, then Z is equal to R. If Z is equal to R, the current will be the maximum. Current will be obtained in that circuit. Maximum the conditions are that the resonance condition of the problem. So as frequency of the problem, there is a resonance frequency equations. Omega is equal to one by root L C. Zeta is equal to one by root by the root L C. So that means resonance frequency. What do you mean by resonance frequency? At the particular frequency, the current will be the maximum in the circuit. That is what we call resonance frequency. So already you are studying that theoretical class. And also some more quality factor. Quality factor is only for that. The equations to obtain the quality factor. One by R is equal to one by C. Also, one by equation for the quality factor. So the omega R divided by R is also one by equation for the quality factor. So one by omega R C into R is also another equation for the quality factor. So after the power dissipation in that circuit, P is equal to V R minus I R minus plus I. So these are all the equations to obtain the individual also. It pass by phase between the voltage and current in the zero. Then uh, power dissipation, the resistance pi is zero. Power dissipation we can hear in the circuit. I hear in the circuit. Pass pi is also power factor. This one is also power factor. This is also power factor. 
ऑप्शन सोलगड़ी है ऑप्शन सोलगड़ी नहीं लागू होगा इनके लिए तो आना सी इतना ना ना वन टेन पावर फोर थी नहीं इतना टेन पावर थ्री ही डिवाइडेड बाय टू पाई अल्लाह ऑप्शन फोर आप बोल रहा है तो अगर रीजन फाइव बाय फाइव इतना टेन पावर थ्री हार्ड्स ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन डी इसे ना राइट आंसर है रिजोल्वेंस समय में नहीं है मैक्सिमम पावर डिस्पेशन इस तरह तो so what is the frequency at which the maximum power is dissipated yes the resonant frequency of that we find it is 1 by 2 by 2 by 10 c so we can simplify 5 by 5 into the power of 10 to the power of 3 or is what the option d is a right answer okay yeah? so next one second one is A step down transformer has 50 turns on secondary and 100,000 turns on primary winding. If a transformer is connected to 220 volt 1 ampere AC source, what is the output current of the transformer? You know that one. If the transformer is connected, then NS divided by NP is equal to Yes, divide by one. So, how do we divide by one? The equation is given. E one do the formula. Number of turns is given. Correct the number of turns. Number of turns. So, number of turns. Which implies I B divided by one. So, one is divided by one. Now, do the Step down transformer. So that again, step down transformer. The step down transformer I have done. For the step down transformer, the current, current, the secondary coil is how much to open the one. So here we have to observe. So I B by I S is equal to N S divided by N. Then if we get the I S divided by I B, what is the value? If transformer connected to two volt by one ampere. So then you can calculate the IS is equal to I P into N divided by N S. I P is how much? One ampere N P primary coil thousand divided by N S fifty times. One is equal to N S is equal to twenty ampere. N S is equal to twenty. So B option B is an right answer. Option B is an right answer. So next to third one is compulsory alternating. That is four questions. That is clear. 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 We took four. We took four maximum. Two thousand two three. The last one we have four questions. That is three questions. That is clear. That one. Three to four questions compulsory. Okay. So it was the clear answer. Third one is. The average power dissipated in AC circuits two watt. If a current flowing through a circuit is two ampere, impedance is one ohm. What is the power factor of the AC circuit? So you know that one, the average power of AC circuit is two watt. The current flowing through the circuit is two ampere impedance and then one ohm. The power factor. You know the one of the formula. We know that we know that power factor is equal to V R M S into I R M S into cos pi. So then, if cos pi is equal to P divided by V R M S into I R M S, so that will be written as observable. Power factor P is equal to V R M S into I R M S into I R M S into R. So hence, can I become I R M S square into R? I am at I I am at square into R. So we can change it up formula. We can change it up formula. Cos pi is equal to power dissipation is equal to two in there divided by I am at square is equal to two ampere into square into resistance one. So it is equal to two divided by four. So that is equal to point five. So the power factor. So the unit is one. Power factor is one. Unit is one three. 
the gas by uh, value in there, 0.5, and here, so 0.5 value is set out. Clear? So this is nothing but a series. Uh, uh, third, A yeah, option A is a right answer. So next to we go for KCD 2015 or KCD 2015 or yeah. one A transformer is used to light 100 by 110 volt lamp from 220 volt mains. If the main current is 0.5 ampere, the efficiency of the transformer is so the transformer is used to right 100 already more than one efficiency is equal to output power divided by input power into 100 this is an efficiency equation transformer na efficiency you know that one step of transformer step down transformer this step of symbol Step sorry, this is the number of turns in the primary file, and then this is the step step of transformer. Then S yes, zero, and then P giving an input to two giving in this direction. So this is the input. See now output will be result values for the output the transformer. Number of files zero is that. Then after all, okay, how much efficiency? The more efficiency elements is there. So if you are taking a more output, only more output sit out. Less efficiency there, less output sit out. In output power to the input power into and so about that problem, we can clear that output power is to be the output output power is equal to the output power is a hundred. Back put it on there. Output power is a hundred back. So now input power in there. Input power is to be put in there. Input power is nothing but that. V into I input power V into I. So V is to be by the two twenty volt in there. Into current is to be by the point by R in there. That is equal to one ten. One ten back. Substitute one.